Yeah, Gormagad, uh, uh, the first thing I want to do, Laskaherlik, is I want to commend Minister Choi for bringing forward this important piece of legislation. Not simply is this legislation transposing into Irish law the ECN directive from 2019, but it also does something quite novel. It extends the remit and powers available under the Criminal Justice Surveillance Act 2009, and it applies them to the uh, Consumer and Competition Protection uh, Commission, which is something that hasn't been done to date. Up until now, it's the case that the Guardi or the Defence Forces, or indeed the Revenue Commissioners, may use the extensive powers that are available under that piece of legislation. But in this legislation, those powers are being given to the uh, Competition and Consumer Protection uh, Commission. I note, Minister, the reason you did that is not because it was a directive that was given to you by the uh, Commission or by the European Union, but because it was contained within a recommendation within the report prepared by the former DPP James Hamilton that was delivered in February 2020. It also, however, follows on and implements another recommendation from that report, which is that a new separate offence of bid rigging should be introduced. And I think that's something that's going to be uh, transformative in terms of the ability of the Commission to investigate what is regarded as anti-competitive practices. I also welcome the fact that instead of having to go to court now, the uh, Commission will find itself in a position similar to the central bank, where it can impose what's referred to as administrative fines on people who have been found to be in breach of uh, competition law. Whilst well, I'm on the topic of uh, the central bank minister, I think one area of competition that we need to look at very actively in political life is the lack of competition uh, within the Irish banking sector. As you'll be aware now, there's very few uh, banks from outside the jurisdiction operating within Ireland. A lot of the banks operating in Ireland, of course, are controlled or have significant ownership by the state as well. We need to really look to see how can we expand and introduce greater competition into the banking sector. And something that you might look at, Minister, is trying to see whether or not we would give some responsibility or jurisdiction to the central bank to ensure that one of its remits would be the uh, existence of competition within the banking sector. Listen, competition is a complex issue, and I'm conscious from listening to the debate here today that it can have different consequences on different parts of the economy. The purpose of competition law is to try to ensure that we have a vibrant economy within which consumers have huge choice because there's so many competitors in different sectors that prices will lower and standards will go high. If you look at an example of where there is great competition, you have to look no further than in the grocery sector. We see huge amounts of advertising in our newspapers and everywhere for the price of food in different competitive supermarkets throughout the country. But of course, that also has a consequence. The lowering of prices in the grocery sectors also has a very negative impact on the price being received by farmers for their food. So it's not a, it's not a simple issue, competition law. It is complex. We always look to place the consumer at the centre of it. But I suppose we need to recognise by continuously promoting the benefits for the consumer, there are certain other individuals who are going to lose out. But the, the target of this legislation, Minister, I'm pleased to say, will hopefully be businesses that are breaching openly competition law. And that's something that I think this new, new legislation will achieve, and hopefully the surveillance powers will be a great deterrent to those businesses that are involved in bid rigging. Thank you, Lasker. Thank you, Minister.